What is up? My name is TJ, you're watching Casual Coasters, and we are at Great America. And I'm in. Welcome to Great America. Last time I was here was back in 2021 with my brother, and we managed to get on everything here but the invert. It was closed for some reason, so I'm really looking to get on that, and it is running today. I can hear it from here, it's awesome. First things first, I think I'm gonna go for Gold Striker, and then I'm gonna head over to the B&M invert, and we'll just try and beat the crowds. It's 10 o'clock, the park just opened, and uh, let's see what we can do. You know, I think everyone's heard the rumors of this park like potentially closing soon. It's kind of up in the air and nobody knows what's going on. I don't know why they would. This park is, is gorgeous. It's clean, it's well kept. Cedar Fair always keeps their park clean. They got a double decker carousel right here. But for real, I don't know. I'm here today to just check out the park. It's been a while. I'm sad to hear that uh, it could pot uh, potentially be closing. Oh, it is running. Yes. Okay, so I assume I go down that way. I don't. I haven't seen Gold Striker running yet, so I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. I want to see it go, but I don't know why this park is closing. You got Levi Stadium right next door, and they got good theming. Is it open? Oh, we got a line out here for Gold Striker. This is a GCI Woody. This thing is nuts. It's violent just like a Woody should be. And it's got great banking and walls that line the most of the track. It makes for an awesome experience of a coaster ride. Hope to get on this. Oh yes, we're going in. Still doesn't run yet though, but I'm going for it. Gold Striker, man. Oh my God, that is such a good ride. That's top, I don't know, that's like top five for me. I, I, you know, I haven't done many, but that is the best wooden coaster I've ever done. One of my top fives. And Gold Striker is awesome. Relentless Woody with great air time. It's ejector, there's floater hills, there's bank turns with walls. So good, so good. All right, I'm off to the invert. I think I go this way. Let's see if I can get on this B&M invert here. I can't stress enough how good Gold Striker is. That's so good. And it only gets faster throughout the day. I don't know if that's actually a good thing, is if it gets faster, because it was really smooth. Even in the back section where you come up into like a sharp left. And uh, when Jack and I were here a few years ago, that was really rough. I don't know if they've done retracking or what. I hear this park's closing. That was the smoothest ride I've ever had on that. That was so good. It's the spooky season over here. They've got like all the decorations up. It's Halloween. Today's a Sunday, uh, September 10th, I think it is. Uh, I kind of forgot that uh, Halloween is on the rise. I can't, uh, Halloween is my favorite time of the year. I gotta get out to some parks and do a Halloween thing. Yes, it's going up the lift hill, let's get it. I don't know what those are right there. This thing's awesome. It's like a hearse. Like metal. Delta Flyer. Oh, is this a, a Skyline? I might have to take that. Forgot they had a 
Skyline over here. Flight deck. Uh, that's what it's called. All right, flight deck. It's open. Finally. B&M. Classic invert. It's old. I remember when this was a Paramount Park and it was Top Gun. And I still wasn't able to get on it. It was down then. And I was like, man, Top Gun's one of my favorite movies. Oh, it's still got the... It's still got the theming from Top Gun. Look at this. Oh, I guess it's Flight Deck. That makes it. They just kept it up and changed the name from a Paramount to a regular thing. It's just a fighter jet theme. That's dope. Let's get it. Look at this. Theming. Love theming. Even though it's like Hobby Lobby theming, it's theming. Oh, look at this. Probably. Yeah. We got a little radar spinning. That's nuts. Off. Look at the theming in here. It's like a... It's a uh, air uh, carrier. Why am I blanking on what they're called? Carrier ship, right? I don't know. I don't think there's a line for this. Nice. Heck yeah. What do I do? I'll go for the front, right? Easy. flight deck old B&M and you could tell dude that thing was so fast and forceful some of the G's on some of these like upwards and the uh, barrel rolls were nuts Whew. that's one you got to catch your breath after on that that was awesome it was a little shaky towards the back there when you're around the I won't even call it water at this point that's a that's a swamp when you're going over the swamp it's like and your ears are just getting bashed uh maybe the um my sunglasses didn't help with that but that was awesome oh, okay i think i thought railblazer was the most intense that could give railblazer a run for its money but let's go check it out let's go over to railblazer and see if i can survive they got some good flat rides here for kids and stuff they got little swings right next to a screaming floorless bnm which i've got to get on i think that one's called patriot I remember that being good. It's not Medusa, but it's good. It's a smaller one. Also, this park is clean. It's really nice. Hometown Square, just some nice seating over here. Oh, yeah, Patriot. There it is. I'm going to go on Railblazer and then I'll head over to Patriot. I'm sure there's no way. It's not very busy this morning. We're still only like an hour in. It's about 11 o'clock. I will say though that when Jack and I were here last a few years ago, we did get Panda Express here and that was the worst Panda Express I've ever had. It was the most old stale Panda. Maybe that's changed, but I don't think I'll be getting it this time. Now this steel contraption, this is the top dog of the single rails, the Raptor tracks. This is Railblazer. It's got one bit of theming. A big rock that you go through in the middle. This one is theme is uh, is like you're sitting on an ATV or a four wheeler, quad. So, so there's that. But look at this. It's just a spaghetti bowl of track, and it rips through this layout. Some of these inversions right here and like outer banks and this stuff. I'll get some awesome off ride of this. You got. Demon, I think it's called. Oh yeah, the Demon, an old Arrow Looper. There we go. Oh, that sounds pretty rickety. Woo! All 
RMC, single rail. This one is brutal. Very intense. Just as intense as I remember. Some of those ejectors are just like, if you didn't have restraints, you'd just go flying 15 feet into the air. It's nuts. It's over real quick too. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. Those are some of the most uncomfortable trains in the business. The single rails with your feet spread like that, like, uh, I don't know about those, but single rail, what can you do? Uh, I think I'm gonna see what Demon and Grizzly are like. I just gotta say, I've been filming Railblazer here for a while and just got off of it. The ride crew is killing it. They are running up and down that station, sending them. Two train service is all you need on this one. It's awesome, loving it. Next is the Demon. Let's see what the line is like for this one. Classic Aero Looper, and it's got theming in it. I don't even know what this is. Little, uh, it's a little circular. Gotta love when there's theming in the queue. You're not just standing in a parking lot. It's Giants colors too. Demon broke. There was literally no queue. And I was up front and the demon broke. Ugh, what a demon. All right, on the next one. Let's go over to uh, Grizzly. That is the most casual, slow paced, Woody I've ever been on. So let's go give it a shot. It's good fun. We got little putt putt cars. That's pretty cool. But the Grizzly seems to be running. This was built in the 70s. And built by Kings Island Construction, I believe, or Kings Island something like that. Redwood Rally. Little putt putt cars that go around. That might they might actually give you a good view of Grizzly if it was a good coaster. We got like a games gallery spot over here, a little drop tower. A little flyers flat ride and then the grizzly there's literally no people on grizzly i don't know if that's just because there's no one in line nobody wants to do this or if they're not letting people on for some reason not sure we're gonna find out oh it's literally not even open there's people sitting over here we're we're like an hour and 15 into the park opening and it's not i mean it's running but they're not letting people in line credit for this one i don't know i'll see if it opens up back or uh, opens back up later oh well, i guess while we're back here oh look at this that's like a full-on jet flying through here i don't know if you can see that but that's pretty cool the san jose airport's like right there i'm not really sure i know the wild mouse is back here let's see what the line is like for this maybe i'll get on that there's a tiki twirl flat ride i'm not really gonna do flat oh tiki twirl's not even open i'm not really gonna do the flat rides today I might not even do this wild mouse if there's any kind of weight. I've got the credit and it wasn't the best one. But if there's no line, I'll get on it. Oh yeah, there's a the line wrapped around the corner. 
they like, you can tell, they really trim this one. For some reason, they use like almost every single one of the trims up top. And the trim right there on the bottom. Uh, I think this is an arrow. Oh, hard trim right there. So you got your little Planet Snoopy area back here and there's a water park too. I'm not sure if this wraps around or if I should take this guy. I think if this wraps through, I'm just gonna take it through. Sierra Creek Lodge. Oh, this looks nice actually. Is this new? Snoopy Boutique, Sierra Creek. I wonder what this is. This looks really nice and new. Let's check it out. Oh, it's food. Let's see what kind of food options we got back here. I'm not hungry. Well, I'll show for you guys. Oh, this is nice. This has got to be new. Look how nice this is. What do we got? We got a veggie burger, cheeseburger, artisan sandwich, chicken tenders, pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, and a cauliflower pizza. A lodge platter. Entree and a side. Sides, mac and cheese, salad, french fries, and veggies. Oh, pardon me, sorry. Whoops, I was just standing right in the middle of everything. <laughs> that looks good. This is very peaceful back here. They've got like, I don't know if you can hear that. They've got like a uh, Charlie Brown music playing. It's very calming. I love the Charlie Brown music. So the Christmas album is my favorite. Yeah, it's just some kid rides. A little, little coaster over there too. I'll probably need a child to get on that one. I don't have a child, so. I wonder if I can get through. Experiment, let's do it. See if we can get through over here. Or if I gotta walk all the way around. Look at those airtime hills. I bet those give the craziest ejector. Right over this little stream. This is awesome. For a kid coaster, airtime looks insane. I think you can get around here. pumpkins I bet this looks awesome at night this reminds me of how uh, Halloween Horror was last year in Orlando they had like right as you walked in they just had all the pumpkins up top and the pumpkin king up front oh, I would love to get back to a Halloween Horror Nights it's not gonna happen this year maybe next year this doesn't look open either delirium what is this Mass Effect New Earth. A 4D holographic journey. Oh wow, it's got a big line there. This is the All American Corners. Does this cut around? Can I get to Patriot from here? Look at this. It's all, it's all good. This is cool. I don't know if I can. Maybe I've got to go all the way back around again. Honestly, don't know. You got this spot here. It looks like you can grab a beer. That's like full bar right there. I'm not gonna grab a beer today, but I would if I was gonna be here longer. So you can loop around. I don't know if Patriot's even open. I don't think Patriot is open. A lot of stuff uh, doesn't seem to be open today. Or maybe it's just not open yet. It'll open up later on in the day. I don't plan to be here long. I didn't plan this out very well. I was just like sitting there this week, like, man, I wanna get out of the house and go get on some coasters or something. I'll just do a a little day trip by myself out here. I haven't been out here in forever. And then I was out with friends on Friday night, so I didn't come here yesterday on Saturday when I wanted to. And now I'm here Sunday, and it's opening Sunday of football. But I'll ride coasters anytime. I like get on coasters and watch football. I also just love watching football. So I'm gonna go home and watch the night game. I'm not gonna stay here the whole day. Well, confirmed. Patriots not open today. Uh, that's like half the rides that are open and closed. It's September in California. You know, school has started. They're only open on the weekends. I'm not surprised that some of the smaller rides aren't open, but really, I'm happy that I got on these rides that I did, like Gold Striker, Railblazer, and of course the Invert Flight Deck. Really wanted to get on that. Glad I did. So now, uh, I mean, if Grizzly opens, I'll go get on that. But other than that, I'm just gonna get back in the Gold Striker uh, line and re-ride that. Probably go re-ride the invert and call it a day. A few hours later, back where I started, here in front of the fountain. 
Uh, I got my rear rides in on Gold Striker, Flight Deck, and Rail Blazer. Those are intense. Those three coasters are nuts. Some of the best around here. And uh, I hope they don't get rid of them. I don't know why you would get rid of this place. It seems like crowds are picking up here towards the middle of the day. I got in early and that was good. Glad I did come when I did and got on all these rides with short waits. But I don't know why you would close this place down. It's awesome. Great America, I hope you stay. And I hope to come back in the future. But until then, um, Jack and I have a trip planned hopefully out to Carowinds in November. So hopefully we can make that happen. Man, bucket list. But with that being said, I'm off until the next one. I'll see you then. Cheers.